We know that when people don't get enough food or when they eat low quality food, it has a profound effect on their health, holds back their development and puts a strain on the world's healthcare systems. So I'm exploring how we can harness the power of good food as medicine. I've seen how rethinking supply chains can help tackle food deserts, and how food science is allowing us to invent brand new foods fortified with nutrients. But now I want to find out how our most important crops could be tailored to fight malnutrition. In Africa, nearly 48% of the continent's population relies on cereals and root staples that are not sufficiently dense in vital micronutrients. The result is a problem known as hidden hunger, where what food there is available is lacking in the necessary vitamins and minerals. Kenya is one of the countries in Africa that is affected by this problem of hidden hunger. It is estimated that more than 21% of women in Kenya suffer from iron deficiency. It is also estimated that about 36% of uh, pregnant women suffer from iron deficiency. And it's even worse with children. But the Harvest Plus project is attempting to fight this hidden hunger using a groundbreaking process known as biofortification. Leading a group of young agricultural researchers back in 1990, founder and former World Food Prize winner Howdy Buis came up with the revolutionary idea that dietary quality was just as important as quantity. Hey, Howdy. Good to see Thank you. Tell me about your work. Why, why is it so important? When you look at patterns, the poor eat a lot of food staples and they don't eat much vegetables, fruits, and animal products. And that's why they're deficient. So the idea I had was if they're eating these large amounts of food staples day in and day out, let's try to load more of what they need into those food staples. Let's get agriculture to provide the minerals and vitamins that people need. Let's close that gap with the food supply. Fortifying processed food products has been going on since the first half of the 20th century. We're all familiar with added vitamins in milk or minerals in breakfast cereals, but it costs money to add them and also comes in products that are often out of reach to the poor. So Howdy had the idea of enriching the crops themselves. Biofortification uses conventional methods of plant breeding to produce crops that are richer in essential micronutrients and a higher yielding. There has been an argument from some quarters that it would just be much easier to diversify people's diets. What would you say to that? I think that diversifying the diets is the ultimate solution. We want, you know, the diets that you and I are used to eating, that's what we want to see people eating all over the world. Efforts have to be made in that direction, but there's no one, um, you know, strategy that's just going to solve the problem. If you're just going to work, if you only are going to work on dietary diversity, it's, it's going to take decades and decades and decades because basically you've got to raise their incomes so that they can afford the diverse diets. The idea has since had a global impact. There are now nearly 400 new varieties of 12 biofortified crops, from rice to wheat, maize, bananas, potatoes, and more, being grown in 40 countries, reaching an estimated 10 million farming households. This biofortification concept innovation is a no-brainer. Are we done yet? No. Africa still suffers the brunt of this problem feed and hunger and we need to make sure that we can get it to as many communities as possible and make sure that we can help significantly mitigate the problem of feed and hunger.